What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah. Awesome. Don't, don't be too excited. <laughs> so yeah, after a week of working at my parents' farm in upstate New York, I'm finally back in civilization, finally back in the city, which is awesome. I can be an asshole to everyone, and it's perfectly normal. <laughs> I love it. But um, rhetorical question, guys. Um, can vegan girls swallow cum? I mean, it comes from animals, right? I don't know, I'm just looking for a bit of consistency on that. I think if you can take a mouthful of jizz, you can eat like one fucking egg, right? <laughs> At least, I don't know, drink like a glass of milk or something, Jesus Christ. I think that might be the only thing that keeps me from dating vegan girls. And I don't want to eat leaves three times a day. It's kind of a waste. So, I, I think I'm getting older, or at least my friends are getting older, because I know um, a lot of them are, are, are getting um, married and having kids, except some of my friends in Colorado, they're just having kids with no marriage. <laughs> Fucking hippies, right? <laughs> but um, a lot of those, like, it, it gets really annoying when, when all the guys, when all the guys say, oh, you know, yeah, we're pregnant, you know, my wife and I are pregnant, like, really? You're pregnant? Like, if, if you have to put it in context of, like, how much work guys and girls do, like, in terms of pregnancy, imagine you have a husband and wife team, and they're given a job to deliver a, a semi-trailer all the way from New York City to San Francisco. It starts off fine, husband helps, the, helps his wife on the truck, opens the door, helps her up, closes the door, and then kind of stands outside like this. <laughs> what, you're not coming? No. You're, you're driving all the way by yourself. I'm not doing shit. It's like, don't worry though, like if you get sick or anything, call me for emotional support. <laughs> but, but you know, like, but w when you get to San Francisco, when you get to their warehouse, I'll help you, I'll help you off. I'll stand in the corner, looking all confused, while a bunch of strangers help you off the truck. <laughs> it's like to put it into context, I think it's really arrogant. Guys, you know, at least say, my wife is pregnant. I got my wife pregnant. Something like that. Be more reasonable. <laughs> but um, for for my, but I've been living in Colorado now for about six, seven years, and I finally learned how to pronounce correctly the people who live in Colorado. It's not Coloradans. It's not Coloradians, it's fucking stoners. <laughs> you know, I thought that gluttony was something that's limited to food only. But no. Recently I saw this video of a col I mean a fucking stoner take smoking 22 grams of hash to himself. If you guys don't know how much 22 grams and a half of hash is, it can get an entire village in Africa stoned for a week. <laughs> so we didn't change. We just move. We're, we're less fat, but we're just really, really high. It doesn't make sense because you get the munchies all the time. But, but back to back to um, my friends who are, who are getting married and already have kids, and the soulmates in Colorado who have kids, like, like. Why do you have to post all your baby's picture on, on the wall, on, on Facebook all the time? It's getting really annoying. Every time I go on Facebook, my fucking wall looks like some pedophile's website. <laughs> it's like, really? You have 2,000 friends. How do you know one of them is not a molester? <laughs> but you know, keep posting those pictures up because those babies look delicious. <laughs> but you know, the, um, just the other day I was walking past um, the Trump Tower and I just spat on the floor really, really hard as I walked by it. Because it wasn't like an illegal immigrant waiting right there on the floor. Fucking hate them. You know, someone needs a joke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot, guys. One more time for Johnny Israel. <laughs>